Hi seniors, this is Mrs. Martinez. I'm one of the counselors at Mission Hills High School. Um, today we're presenting some really, really important information for you guys. Um, it's a guide to your senior year. And just know that this presentation will be uploaded to our Google Classroom and it will be also uploaded to our Mission Hills website. We have a total of six counselors on campus. We have Mrs. Baker, Mrs. Segal, Mr. Cruz, Mrs. Goldstein, myself, Mrs. Martinez, and Mrs. Rios. We're divided by last name. So based on your last name, that is who your school counselor is. If you haven't done so, we have a Google Classroom just for you guys, the class of 2021. So please go um, and check out our Google Classroom. Um, you'll find tons of information on there. Um, and then our link is down below, um, our classroom code. So please join, that way you can get all the information you need for senior year. On our Google Classroom, you will find this flyer. Um, it has a checklist for your senior year. It has a contact information uh, for a college and career center and it lists out um, all the services that they provide. And there's also our emails below for your, your school counselor. Um, it also has um, senior presentations. So we're going to be having senior presentations on different topics during that advisory. Um, you need to register for those. And so make sure that you go onto the Google Classroom, you click on the flyer to register. Um, we will also be having application and financial aid support uh, sessions from two to four on those dates. Um, you need to also register for those as well. We wanted to uh, go over transcript with all of you. If you haven't done so, please re request a transcript. Um, you would request one by going to www.parchment.com. Um, you will have to make an account. So make sure when you make an account that you use your full name, spell your name correctly, proper capitalization, and no nicknames. Include your student ID number, as well as um, use your personal email account. So please do not use your, your uh, SMUSD email address because once you guys graduate, your email, your school email will be deactivated. Um, and so when you go on to parchment.com, you would request an unofficial transcript to be sent to you via email. When you do receive your transcript, make sure to study it very carefully. Make sure your personal information is correct. Um, review your grades, review um, if you're meeting the A through G requirements, um, if you're planning to go to a four-year university, and then make sure that you're on track for graduation and your credits, um, you're on track with your credits for graduation as well. And this is just a sample of a high school transcript and includes ninth through um, 12th grade. And then on the right hand side, it has a credit summary. So a list, it will actually list your graduation requirements and the credits that you need under each subject area. If you look at the column where it says COMP, that's um, the credits that you completed. And then the WIP, it, or it stands for work in progress and those are the classes that you're currently in. If you have anything under the need area, um, just make sure you check in with your school counselor. Um, it means that um, I'm, I'm that you still need something in terms of uh, graduation requirements and I'm sure you're already in contact with your school counselor if you do have something on there. Hi seniors, this is Mrs. Segal. Um, in this slide we're going to be going over graduation requirements as well as A to G requirements. Um, to start off, I'm going to give an overview of our graduation um, requirements. Um, to recap, you need 230 credits uh, to earn your high school diploma. Um, referring back to your transcript um, to the credit summary, you want to make sure that you are um, completing all the, all the credits um, to your subject requirements. So for example, you want to make sure you have three years of history, um, two years of math, two years of VAPA, or excuse me, two years of a language other than English. Also, it's important to know um, for graduation purposes, a D grade is passing. Um, and then to move over to the right and looking at our A to G requirements. These are the requirements 
that students must complete in order to be eligible to apply to a four-year university like Cal State San Marcos or UCLA or any um, four-year out-of-state um, universities. What's important with your A to G requirements is that you must earn a C or better in all of these college prep courses making sure that you are not only on track for graduation, but also um, with the possibility of being eligible to apply to a four year is important as well and keeping your options open. Something I'd like to highlight is at the bottom of this slide, it says community service is not a graduation for, um, for Mission Hills. Um, the reason we wanna highlight this is because a lot of times students believe that there is a requirement and there is no requirement um, of a community service in order to earn your high school diploma. Um, now to go back to the question of need credits. Are you in a situation where you're behind in credits? Maybe you're behind in elective credits or maybe you might be in a situation where you failed a class um, or received a D. So how do you make up these credits if you're wanting to apply to a four-year university. If you're wanting to apply to a four-year university and to be A to G eligible, you can retake in English, history, math, or science through credit recovery. If you're in this situation, you want to connect with your school counselor and so they can get you set up with a plan. If you're needing to make up any elective credits or your need elective credits, you can always add a class to term two. Um, and counselors will be um, making schedule changes later in this term. So if you're in that situation, make sure to reach out to your counselor as well. And then lastly, we have Palomar College. Students can enroll at Palomar College either through concurrent enrollment. Um, and this is where you would take a class at Palomar that is two or more units and then could transfer over as elective credits to Mission Hills. So any course that's two or three units at Palomar will transfer over as five elective credits to Mission Hills. If the course at Palomar is four or five units, it will transfer over as 10 elective credits. We also have dual enrollment. Dual enrollment are Palomar classes that are offered after school at Mission Hills High School. If you want more information regarding dual enrollment or concurrent enrollment, make sure you reach out to your school counselor. Hello Grizzlies, Mr. Cruz here. So after high school, there are multiple paths that you can embark on, um, but today we're gonna highlight four. Uh, and whichever path that you choose to take, we wanna make sure that you're ready. For example, you can attend a four-year university, community college, career and technical school, military, or you can choose to work. If you're gonna be attending a four-year university, have you done your research? Are you A through G? Uh, these are some of the questions that you need to ask yourself and that you uh, we encourage you to talk to your counselor about. We're also going to be hosting multiple workshops and presentations. Um, so you can find those uh, in the flyer that was mentioned earlier. And I would highly suggest that you attend those, those workshops. If you're going to be attending community college, are you going to be attending Miracosta, Palomar, or any other community college? Whatever it is may be, we want to make sure that you're ready. Um, for career and technical schools, please do your research and we can talk to you about these. Um, as far as military goes, there are a ton of military recruiters that we have uh, their contact information for. Um, and also something that we suggest is that you take the, the ASVAB while in high school. This way you can be ready once you graduate. And if you're gonna be working, how's your resume? If you need help with that, Mrs. Yancer can help you who is our career and education coordinator in the College and Career Center. So there are multiple paths, but whatever path you choose, we wanna make sure that you're ready. If you're choosing to attend a four-year university, here are some fast facts. So the SAT and the ACT is optional for this school year for most schools. If you're gonna be attending a private or independent, we highly suggest that you do your research and look into their admissions um, page to see if they will require it. But more than likely, they will not. For example, the UCs and the CSUs will not consider the, S the SAT or ACT for, admin for admittance purposes, 
for this upcoming school year, but they may be considered for English and math uh, placements. Um, there will be application presentations and supports available. Uh, one more thing about the SAT or ACT, um, if you uh, don't plan on taking them, it's okay, but if you do, please send those scores. Um, as a reminder, the UC application deadline is on November 30th, and the CSU application deadline is on December 4th. Hello, seniors. This is Mrs. Goldstein here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about um, attending Palomar and the Palomar Promise. Palomar is a great option directly after high school for many reasons, Palomar College or any community college for that matter, especially with the PACE prom or with the Palomar Promise. So this is a great option because it gives you the free tuition and books and fees as well. If you plan to go on to a four year, you would do two years at Palomar, two years at the four year, year and finish at the same time as you would if you were to go directly to a four year. Other great reasons to attend Palomar or Community College is to get a certification. A couple of examples might be a hairdresser or a mechanic. You can get the proper certification and start working in as little as just a few years. The Palomar Promise application will be open and available starting in October and everything is due no later than March 2nd. It's really important to make sure to uh, follow all of the directions in applying for the promise to make sure you are part of, um, of getting the free services and tuition. For those of you that are planning to go directly to a four year right out of high school, I would encourage you to also complete this application. There are so many different reasons why your plans might change over the course of this of senior year and you wanna have your options open. So even if your goal right now is to go directly to a four year, it would be advised to fill out this application as well in case those plans change. Another great option for students is the military. Within the military, there's several branches and hundreds of different careers that you might be able to, to obtain or get free education while in the military. The ASVAB is a test that you would need to take if you're interested in the military or just to see what type of careers would be available to you. This is open to juniors and seniors only and the date will be in spring of 2021. If you want additional information about the military and careers within the military, you can contact the recruiter by reaching out through our recruiter contact page on our website as well as the link here. Hi seniors, this is Mrs. Rios. I'm gonna to talk to you about what the College and Career Center has to offer you. Just a reminder that um, all of these links, you'll be able to be able to click on them. Um, we'll provide this presentation in the Google Classroom and you'll have all this uh, for you. Um, the College and Career Center offers a lot of stuff for students. We have the college application support, we have financial aid information, the military careers. If you're interested in going to Palmar, the Palmar Pathways, that's um, just a series of presentations for students to get them familiar with Palmar. Uh, most importantly, our scholarships, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in the next following slides. Uh, work permits, if you need a work permit, you get a job, this is where you're gonna have to go to, to the College and Career Center. We also have another great resource for you, and that's the education coordinator, and her name's Amanda Yancer, and her job is really to just be here for you to help you with career exploration, helping you figure out what you want to do in, um, in your life, you know. Um, you could also have her help you with finding a job or creating a resume, um, but she has a lot of resources for you. She also runs a class um, about uh, financial literacy. So if you want to connect with her, the information's on the slide. 
so we one of the series of workshops presentations we'll have for seniors is financial aid then this is going to review how to pay for college very important information a lot of times students say oh well i'm not going to apply for financial aid because i'm not going to qualify but you need to attend this workshop so you understand how it works and what is available for you it's going to be wednesday october 7th at 11 30. the link is below here or you can go to the google classroom and sign up there um, we also have a financial aid website so the link is on this slide as well so you can connect to there and there you'll be able to find some videos and just a lot more information to get you started another great workshop for you is scholarships how do you apply to scholarships i always tell students that scholarships are like it's like having a part-time job you have to put in the time in order to get paid so we will talk about how to find scholarships um, thursday october 8th at 11 30. again these are through advisory please sign up um, on this slide also is our list of scholarships that we have any scholarship that comes across our desk we'll put it on this list Hi Grizzlies, Mrs. Baker here. Senior series. So in addition to contacting your school counselor or Mrs. Smith directly, we have a series of presentations and application support times. All of our presentations will be available online for you to view whenever you and your families have time. And in addition to that, we will also be available live during the Wednesday and Thursday advisory time. And we can answer any of your questions and review the presentations during that time. So if you look here on the slide, you'll see on the left, there's a column of presentations. And each day we will list which we're, what we're talking about in each of those days. In addition to that, on the right, you'll see application support time. So this is time where you can drop in and get help with anything, any college application that you're working on, Palomar College information, FAFSA, DREAM Act, scholarships, and basically just any questions you have. So please register in advance, though, so we can make sure you have the appropriate links to join those times. Community service opportunity. The Teen Presenters Program is for Mission Hills High School seniors who have made the choice to be and remain drug and alcohol free all throughout their education. Each October during Red Ribbon Week, Mission Hills teen presenters speak to elementary and middle school students about their choice and pledge to be drug and alcohol free. And this year we will have a way to do that virtually. Should you be interested in participating in this awesome opportunity, please complete the registration below so you can attend the teen presenters Zoom training and information session. The San Marcos Prevention Coalition will be hosting this year's teen presenters training. You'll re receive a Zoom invitation to the training by October 2nd with registration. If you attend the training and information session and you decide that you don't want to do it or you can't do it, that's fine, but you must be present at the training in order to participate in the teen presenters video. So check it out. Senior survey. If you haven't done so already, please complete the quick senior survey. A link is to it here and also in our Google Classroom. If you do the senior survey, it's just really helpful for us. Uh, we really want to hear from you and just see where you're at right now so we can provide the best support to you possible. So to review, Contact your school counselor anytime, especially if you have questions about your transcript or your credits. Register and attend some of the upcoming presentations and support times. Join the senior Google Classroom if you haven't already. Complete the senior survey. And last but not least, remember that we are here to help you, all of us, school counselors, teachers and staff, your family and friends. And then we have some hyperlinks here too to all of our social media platforms that have a lot of information as well. Okay, so let's take a moment. Let's take a deep breath in through your nose. 
out through your mouth. Let's just take a moment and be present and mindful of where you are right now. Let's look at this slide together. Maybe you already have a couple of go-to strategies when you're feeling stressed. Either way, here are some ideas, some short-term or more immediate things you can do when you're feeling stressed. There's some ideas here on the left. Taking a 20-minute break, either to walk, run, take a nap making a list of things to do, but also maybe like an emotional to-do list or even just making time to do nothing and then relaxing. Sometimes when you just tidy up your area, you can feel a little um, less stressed when you have a cleaner space around you. Yoga and meditation and just some breathing techniques. There's a lot of free apps out there that can help with that too. And of course, just talking with somebody. All of the images on this slide also have links to other resources as well. On the right, there's some long-term stress relief ideas. So taking care of your physical and mental health all throughout your senior year is super important. Getting at least eight, that's right, eight hours of sleep a night, you guys. Super important to, to recharge yourself. So look this over. Hopefully you see at least two in each column that you can commit to trying. You are not alone. There is always help and hope. These are free, confidential, and 24 seven resources available to you. These are resources for you, and you can maybe even share these with uh, people you care about. These are phone numbers that you can call or text or apps you can download to help you 24 seven. So I recommend if you haven't already, just put these in your phone if you have one. Um, and then you just have them in case of an emergency or if you just wanted to talk to somebody or text with somebody. And also you could share it with, with uh, your loved ones and your friends. Thank you, seniors. We'll see you at the workshops. Keep in touch, okay? Don't be shy. We are here for you 100%. Go class of 2021.